Hey, my friend, Drew Canoli. I am so jazzed up to be here. We're in Lake Murray, Southern California at its finest. It's absolutely gorgeous out today. And what better way to spend our day than you and me talking about something that I'm passionate about and I know a lot of you need help with. What is it? Inflammation. Inflammation attacks us when we least expect it. We go to bed, we wake up in pain, we twist our neck. It doesn't make us capable of being the fullest expressions of who you and I are. So today, we're attacking inflammation head on. I wanna show you the 11 things to eliminate, eradicate, and destroy from your life. And I also wanna show you 23 remedies that can help inflammation when it sets in. But first, we have to understand the two primary pathways for your body to heal inflammation on its own. You have the primary, and you have the secondary pathway to eliminate it. So if we help the body with the primary pathway of detoxification, of giving it the right foods, of eliminating the bad things, then that secondary response doesn't kick on. You start to feel better. So let's talk about the 11 things to eliminate and cut back on, right? Some of these are gonna be pretty hard to eliminate right away, and I get that. But to cut back on, to help, with that primary pathway of getting rid of inflammation in the body. The number one, processed food. You've heard me talk about it, sugar, dairy, wheat. If you're in a polluted area, make sure you get an air purifier to clean your house. Smoking, ugh, not good for inflammation at all. If you're smoking and you're taking painkillers at the same time, double bad, okay? Don't, don't be doing that stuff, or at least try to eliminate it slowly, okay? Alcohol, trans fats, omega-6, fatty acids, MSG, and sleep. Sleep is the big ticker. If you're getting enough sleep, it'll help eliminate that. Your kidneys work when you're at night to purifying your blood, and that's exactly what you want. So sleep, bar none, is the most important thing. All right, my friend, have a seat. Let's talk about this real quick. So 23 things we can do to get rid of inflammation. Number one is omega-3s, right? Omega-3s aid the liver in the process of getting rid of toxic inflammation buildup in your body. Number two is greens. You've seen all of our juicing videos. I'm a firm believer of drinking greens in the morning on an empty stomach. You know, that's why we do our warm water and lemon, stimulate that digestive fire as they talk about in Ayurveda, and then having the green juice afterwards so that you absorb the phytonutrients, the phytochemicals, the aminos, the enzymes. And that's, if you're traveling or whatever you're doing, that's why a lot of people are actually taking the Organifi with them so that they get the green superfood first thing in the morning. Very powerful stuff. And then gut health, right? Inflammation starts in the gut with the food that we eat. 80% of our immune system is in the gut. So that's why you wanna eat the foods, like we talked about in last week's Saturday Strategy, that are loaded with probiotics, prebiotics, things to stimulate that immune system and help you heal. Hydration is absolutely key. Listen, 80% of the country is chronically dehydrated. Drink your water, six liters at least. Drop a little Celtic sea salt in there for your minerals, absolutely amazing for you. One of my favorite teas is actually turmeric and ginger tea. You've seen me make videos about this, really good for you. Epsom salt bath at night. One of my favorite things to do is add a little Epsom salt, sit in there, relax, meditate, breathe, lower that cortisol level, and just let that magnesium absorb through your skin, one of the best ways. That leads me to the next one, which is magnesium. Magnesium is quintessential. I have a Calm supplement I take from home, a couple of those a day, make you feel absolutely amazing. Nine is olive oil, right? They've done research on this. They tested olive oil against ibuprofen. Just one and a half tablespoons of olive oil is equivalent to 200 milligrams of ibuprofen. Dandelion greens. As I mentioned two weeks ago in 23 ways to cleanse your body, dandelion greens help promote bile in your digestive tract, which helps eliminate toxins as well. Plus they're loaded with vitamins A, C, and E. These bad boys, this is one of my favorite things to juice. Start juicing yourself some dandelion greens. Black strap molasses. For years, people have been using this for pain. Black strap is the actual syrup that's boiled down three times. It's the minerals, it's the purest form of all that goodness that you can mix in with a little bit of water and it's great for inflammation. White willow tea. I just heard of this one, absolutely amazing. It's got silicon in it and that's amazing for pain relief. It's actually one of the things in aspirin. 13 is exercise. If you're like me, you'd like to exercise at least five, six times a week. If you go three or four days, you may notice that your joints and your body starts to ache, right? Well, what is that? That's the synovial gel in between your joints that starts to gump up and thicken. When it's thickened, your body doesn't move correctly. So that's why exercise or jumping on a rebounder or doing yoga or doing Tai Chi, whatever it is, loosens that synovial fluid up in your body and the pain starts to dissipate. 14 is essential oils. I love putting peppermint on inflammation or if I hurt my neck, whatever it is, they work really well. 15, another essential oil that I love is frankincense. It's the Boswellian sap 
that actually helps your body get rid of inflammation. Infrared sauna can help as well. It's the infrared rays, the near and far, that actually help the inflammation dissipate. Turmeric, you've heard me talk about it before. It's the curcumin in turmeric that's the most absorbable, and that actually helps with inflammation. Cayenne pepper, born in South America, my friend, it's the active capsaicin that actually thins your blood, helps your circulatory system, and helps you deal with inflammation. Ginger is one of my favorite things, just eating it, sushi, or chopping it up, putting it in some tea, juicing it, drinking the ginger juice. A recent study showed that rosemary does not have quite as many nutrients to get rid of inflammation as ginger and turmeric, but it's a close runner up and it's loaded with vitamin B6. Even the scent of rosemary increases your cognitive function and everybody has it. Everywhere we go, if you have a garden, it's so easy to grow rosemary. Sage is also anti-inflammatory as well. Cryotherapy, it's one of those units that you stand in. It gets down to like negative 250 degrees for about two and a half minutes, rid your body of inflammation, pushes it inside, circulatory system, gets rid of the inflammation and it makes you feel absolutely amazing. Another thing, if you don't have access to a cryo chamber, cold therapy, you're in a, a warm shower, just put some ice packs on the joints that really hurt and it'll help you. Cannabis, they're finding research on cannabinoids now that actually helps with pain. Hyperbaric therapy, in an oxygen rich environment, inflammation has a hard time to bring pain into you. Plus hyperbaric therapy actually helps you recover 50% faster depending on how much oxygen is in the actual chamber. Until now, Western medicine really hasn't relied much on acupuncture or its findings. And the research that they're doing is it actually has been shown to help with sepsis, which is a condition of the blood. And it's an inflammatory condition that people get in hospitals. It's killing, I believe, the, about 750,000 Americans every year, which is a really big problem. So the fact that acupuncture helps with that, something that's 5,000 years old or more in Chinese medicine, pretty cool stuff. And then also one of my favorite things is Tai Chi. You've seen the people at the beach, they're doing this with their slow hands. It's actually been shown in postmenopausal women to actually lower inflammation in the body. All right, my friend, we talked about a lot today. In the beginning, we went over the two ways that your body gets rid of inflammation, primary, secondary. Then we went through the forest of things to eliminate and get rid of in your diet, in your lifestyle that can help you with inflammation. And then we moved on to the 23 things that you can start to add in and adopt in your lifestyle. You don't have to do them all in one day. If you do one and then try another one, it's good. You may find that just by starting today and doing one of these things that I talked about, it sets you up on a cascade into the future for better health. You may find that one day you're looking in the mirror and looking back at a person and wondering when you became pain free. You may find that you're at a dinner party six months from now and you're teaching somebody that you love and you care about and you want nothing more but optimal health for this person that that one thing that you adopted in your life has now impacted them. You may find that you've created a ripple effect in this world that you and I live in. And that ripple is spreading faster than you and I know. We never know who we're gonna touch, my friend, what life we're gonna change, the difference that we're gonna make on this planet. But I will tell you this, there's nothing more enjoyable than saving another human from suffering. All right, the juicer winner this week is Robert Collins, former veteran, a pain radiating throughout his whole body, decided to turn to juicing vegetables healing foods to heal his body. He's lost 28 pounds. He's no longer a diabetic. The doctor has given him great reviews on his blood tests. And literally, this guy is the definition of tenacity. He's been using a blender to make juice. It takes him about three hours to literally blend up the vegetables and fruit and then strain them through a bag. This is the definition of a true fit lifer. We want to send out a juicer to Robert for really making it happen on this week's Saturday strategy. Congratulations, Robert. And to win the juicer next week, all you need to do is leave a comment below. Maybe leave a comment this week about which one that you're going to adopt. Make a commitment into doing one of these 23 things to transforming your life. I find when I write things out and I make a commitment, it sticks. You're gonna do it, and when you do it, that's when your life starts to change. I'm Drew Canoli, I'll see you at fitlife.tv. Remember, as always, we're in this together.
I only have juice, my friends. No bread here, only juice. Want some greens? You like Organifi? All right, as I was saying, and you ducks know this, it's important to sleep, okay? Sleep is number one, the most important thing for inflammation. Yes, it is. 